as of this moment, Antron Brown has not yet qualified, and two qualifying sessions have already gone by. It's getting awful tight for him. Here are the standings right now. Tony Schumacher, number one, he is not a contender. Dale Warson, Spencer Massey are. So is Larry Dixon, and Antron's not in. Well, we take a look at the bottom eight, you're going to see Mike Salinas is on the bump of that 414 elapsed time. That's the number that Antron's going to have to be, but he's probably going to want to run a mid-380 pass. Well, Mike, I talked with Brian Karate. The combination he uses in the bell housing is three brand new clutch discs to two used ones. Recently, he had to change one heading into Vegas, and the other used one heading into here. The car is just simply too aggressive. Now, why would that be? Well, because all those clutch discs, no matter how the manufacturing process go, they are not consistent. So obviously, these discs are a little bit, possibly a little bit more aggressive. I heard they're just not wearing as much as the other ones, and doesn't seem clutch too early in the run. 414 with the is. is the target, yeah. And it's a 384. He is in the field, in the top half, and Antron Brown is number six. And so all four contenders in the fight for the top fuel championship are now in the field, Dave. You no, know, Brian Karate looks like he can sleep a little bit better tonight. Just talking a little bit about the situation with the clutch discs. You feel like you got to calm down enough now? Yeah, we uh, we were going to go back to our you know what we did in Vegas before we came into Vegas, but we felt that what we did here yesterday and Thursday was the path that we needed to go on to be more consistent. So we left it alone, and you know we made some clutch movement adjustments. You know we, our flows might have been a little too fast for the disc that we had in there. How many times you pour over the data before uh, sending it up there right now? I poured over the data. Uh, I haven't slept in two days. Obviously. Let's go to the top end. Gary Gerald has points leader and funny car, Matt Higgins. When he comes out of the car, I don't know that there's anybody quite as animated as Matt Higgins. The eyes particularly are so expressive, and then the big smile that goes with a terrific pass low of the session. Most significantly, three more of those little bonus points. So you have a plus seven over your teammate right now. Does that improve your comfort zone at all well first of all i gotta say thank you my guys are working so hard you know and this die hard car is running really good out here uh tommy lago is really getting a handle on it but things change quick around here so we're trying to stay humble with it but i tell you uh you know the, the point thing it, it, it's nice to have the biggest thing that we're trying to do right now is gobble up some points so that even if uh you know when we go into sunday that they got to put a whole nother round on us to, to win you know and uh, hopefully we don't have to go down to that but you just never know with these championships it's going to come right down to the wire the fans are going to get their money and uh you know we're gonna have some fun doing it but i think that uh it, it, it's just it's a gut wrencher but who would want it any other way it's a gut wrencher but i tell you as a fan we're loving it absolutely i'm loving it as a driver what a great attitude matt hagan on the line tony schumacher currently number one and brandon bernstein at ninth trying to get in the top half brandon has not won since the end of 2009 a sweet run nice for run. Look at it. 380 with a one for Schumacher. He betters his time here in the third session. Remains number one, and Bernstein moves up three positions. He's now sixth. We'll go to the top end and Gary Gerald. Virtually the first words out of Antron's mouth when he heard uh, the time and the speed numbers. Now we can play. That's got to feel pretty good after the last several hours. It does, it does. Uh, the biggest thing, we know we had two runs today. But the thing about it was the weather didn't look like we were going to get any runs. So to get down the track and get that run, I had all the confidence in the world on my team. And uh, we just needed the weather to act right. That's what we were so nervous about. And, uh, and it did. God was up there looking out after us. The glory goes to him. And uh, we're going to go out now. We can play a little bit now. So if we get another run, we can actually lean on it and see the tracks on the hole. That's what we are doing the first two runs. But we just don't want to stick because, I mean, we're in this championship thick of things. And we want to run for that number one spot. And we got to go after it. Thanks, Sam. I was standing with Antron uh, back in the pits this morning. Boy, his fan base is great. He was working on his fuel, and they were saying, you'll do it, Antron. I mean, they were giving him every kind of encouragement. Larry Dixon is fourth in the points. He needs to do some catching up to his teammate, Del Worsham, who currently sits number one. Larry Dixon's looking for back-to-back -back championships, but he is going to have to really move if he wants that playing that spoiler role, but right now Larry Dixon, he is in that points battle, but boy, you got some good cars ahead of him, including, you know, obviously Del Worsham and 
and Spencer Massey right now, they need to step up in the performance just a little bit. They've got the consistency, though. one round behind but the key is that they stepped up the performance we know they can do it but they've been very they have been very consistent don't hurt they don't hurt very many parts they haven't really ran the big number as much as they'd like to that though right there was a very nice pass take one more look at their 284 miles that indicate the track is tight and they took advantage of it so Larry Dixon goes number one from fifth place and shows further that that car has got everything that it needs to get down the track and maybe get him yet another championship. Here's the final pair, and it's the teammate to Larry Dixon, Bill Worsham and Spencer Massey. The chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup continues with the Cobalt Jews 500 at Phoenix. Coverage begins Sunday at 2. had the point sleep when they arrived here. This guy, Del Worsham, took it away from him. Now, you've got Larry Dixon, the quickest PT of the session. These two guys have a chance to eclipse it. Gary Gerald. With Larry Dixon as he came climbing out of there, how good does that feel? Because for the moment, that's three of those little bonus points in your pocket. Uh, for the second, we're going to end up with at least one bonus point out of the deal. I mean, there's two strong cars that are up there on the line right now. Uh, but, uh, you know, for Shea Kelly, Alan and I, Jason did a hell of a job uh, that time. It was a nice ride. I saw that 79 come up on the board. I said, right on. He did great. He may be flying just a little bit under the radar, but look out. Defending champion at work. Yeah, well, it's time to go to altitude and get on the radar because... There's just one more session, and then final elimination, and then the season is over. There are the points right now. Dell leads, Spencer two back, Antron back 17, Larry Dixon 45 back. You know, 45 back, that's three rounds out. Nobody's counting out Larry Dixon, but all eyes are on Del Worsham and Spencer Massey on the starting line right now. Del Worsham, your national record holder with that 373. He's not going to get to that, but he can definitely get to the number one spot, as can good Spencer. seeing him go down. Hey, nice. Spencer Massey, a 380 for Dell. It's a 377. Dell is now number one, and the three points are going to be his. His teammate will pick up two. And I'll tell you what, that is key because Dell Worsham came in here two points behind Spencer Massey. Going into eliminations, that will be one round behind. Because of the bonus points, Dell Worsham, it looks like he is going to be ahead. Spencer will be one round behind going into elimination, and that is huge for that Allen Nobby racing team and Dell Worsham. Now Brian Houston's his crew chief, smile on his face, likes that number, but told me you guys are coming from a little bit behind this weekend. Yeah, we've just been struggling a little bit this weekend to make some horsepower, so... Uh... We made some moves there to see where we were at, and uh, it seemed like it worked out good. So it's a it's a tough battle right now, man. Everything counts. How's your team, your guys, taking everything? Oh, they're ready, man. They're just having a good time and want to win a race and win a championship and have fun no matter what happens. But we're doing all right. We're happy. We're definitely going into race day with the point lead. So the standings now in top fuel, and they've changed dramatically just in this one session. Del Worsham is now number one. Larry Dixon was the number one for one run. And Tony Schumacher, of course, came into the session as the number one qualifier. Schumacher now mathematically out of the game for a championship. Spencer Massey is still in that 